is the image of God? Ah, it's so powerful. You want to know who, who uh, God is? Look at Jesus. You want to know the attributes of God? Look at Jesus. You want to know how God thinks and how God acts and the things that God says? Look at Jesus every time. And when you look at Jesus, you will see God. Understand that when we see Jesus, we do see God. And when we see Jesus, who kept the prostitute from being stoned to death, we see the mercy of God. When Jesus brought Lazarus back to life, we see the sovereignty of God. When Jesus preached against sin and warned people about hell, we see the judgment of God. And when Jesus wept, we see the heart of God. And I'm here to tell you this morning that when Jesus walked out of the tomb and conquered death, we see the power of God. When you see Jesus, you see God. And when you hear Jesus speak, you hear from God. All the more reason to pay attention to what he said. All the more reason to obey him, to come with the faith of a child, to surrender to him. To say, I'm willing to follow you. Not to put you in my back pocket, but to bow at your feet and to give you everything. You are the image of God. I'm all in. I'm following you. Submission. Repentance. Surrender. Say, I'm all in. And when you do that, he reaches down and says, get up. Stand up. You're a friend of mine. You're my child. I love you. Follow me. I've got something great for your life. I'm so thankful that Jesus loves people like you and like me. He says, I come to save those in need of a physician. I came to save sinners. And he loves us so much. And he's willing to change us from that sin nature to all of a sudden being in the army of God. To step out and to live different and to fight the good fight. Are you willing to fight this morning? Because God is calling you. Make no mistake about it, Jesus is the image of God.